was like, mm, I want to fake that on me. You know what I'm saying? I want to look like I am Mestiza too, like them. Oh, you make me want to talk back. Talk back to you. Say you say you like that. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aram and welcome. Um, for this look, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this look. Yeah, but um, I was just trying to be looking like mestiza you know mestiza is like half filipino well in the philippines we call it mestiza when you're half filipino and have something else like especially the something else is like caucasian or just very very light skin we call it half or we call it mestiza and with them we like the skin tone that they get because they get all like blushy and just rosy cheeks and it's just pretty looking you know they don't have to put makeup on they don't have to put um blush on and they look so pretty because of their rosy cheeks but um that's what i was trying to get on this video and i just love it when people are asking me if i am half filipino and half white or other people would think that i am hispanic and i really really like that impression i was like ah yes but um yeah um so for this video i'm i'm just trying to get to the look like that because i really like it i really really like it i really like the flushed skin and yeah if you guys want to see how i got this look please keep on watching and if you guys haven't subscribed please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys soon on my next video bye bye so first off i'm gonna be hydrating myself with this clinique's um dramatically different moisturizing lotion and this one is a sampler and i got it from ulta one time when i was looking for um moisturizer and i just love it but still i haven't cut in any because i still have some and for my eyebrows i'm gonna be using this maybelline studio or eye studio this one is in brown This one is a good alternative to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I really like the brown um, eyebrow tint or you know anything eyebrow eyeliner. I like it brown because it makes me look a little bit more of the mestiza side. Like because they you know the mestizas have their brown hair or light brown hair or dark brown hair you know and it does give me the look or the impression and I kind of like it because sometimes um, when I go to the mall they think or they even ask me if I'm if I'm Hispanic or Latina or if I'm half because I remember there was um, my friend and I were um, walking at the mall and she saw another Filipino over there and so they talk a little bit and then she asked her oh is she is she Hispanic or she's half white? And then I was like, no, hindi po, I am Filipino. I am pure Filipino. So, yeah, that was like just funny. Because back then, I think I have like a little bit more blonder hair or something like that. Because, like, especially for us Filipinos, a lot of us really, you know, like because of the mentality that the Hispaniards or the Spaniards left us that if you're mestiza you're pretty so you know like can't take it off away from me i guess or it's hard to take it off you know it's the mentality that if you're mestiza you're pretty and everyone everybody wants to be mestiza and have that mestiza skin so i am done with my eyebrows i think oops hold on let me just do that a little bit more of this over here guys I want it um, even. I'll try actually. Okay. So 
I am done with my eyebrows. I'm going to prime my face with this Milani Prime Light. This one gives you that, you know, like glow on your skin. So I'm just going to use this. So you guys can see that. So sometimes I really like using just um, this tinted um, mix. This one is like moisturizer too at the same time it's tinted. So it kind of looks like um, there's foundation in it. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this one. And um, I'm going to be putting this Infallible Total Co Cover by L'Oreal. Just a little bit and just to add a little bit more tint to it. Mix them together. I'll just use my e.l.f. brush and for my dark circles I'm just gonna be putting this concealer over here just lightly So to set my foundation, I'm going to be using this NYX um, Studio HD. This one is the their finishing powder. And for my bronzer, I'm going to be using this Morphe Brushes bronzer. This one is 9BZ. And I'm going to use this Unicorn brush. And I'm just going to be using this shadow over here looks light on the camera but actually it's kind of dark but if it doesn't work for me then we're gonna change the color to a little bit darker but I think it works really good right now and now for the fun part gonna be using this pro artist blush palette this one is from TJ Maxx I, I believe and this one is gonna be the one I'm stippling on my cheeks and to my nose so what I usually do is just kind of like stipple it over here like every time I put um, blush on I just stipple just like that Sometimes I kind of smile so I know where my um, my cheekbones are, which is actually obvious, even if I don't smile. But yeah, and that's for my cheeks. And of course, if you want to be mestiza, you want to be like sun kissed. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to put some, you know, um, blush over here on the tip of your nose or on top of your nose. Here. It's like you're brushing it like this across your face. But let's just do stay with stippling. This is when you know, like when you're light skin and then you go out in the sun and you blush because of the sun. It's like a like you kind of like get sunburned. So this is it and of course also you're gonna have to want to put it over here on your chin because I remember when I went to um, San Francisco with my husband and of course they're not Filipinos and we were walking around and they were like all red over here on their cheeks on their top of their, fore their forehead on their chin on their nose I was like, uh, I want to fake that on me. You know what I'm saying? I want to look like I am Mestiza too, like them. So I kind of like just put some blush on my cheeks, on the top of my nose, and on my forehead. And they were like, oh man, I got burned. And I was like, yeah, you guys got burned. And you are too. They said, I was like, uh, nope. I just 
was trying to fool you guys that I got sun kissed and I got burns but it was actually my blush on that I was using you know the peach um, blush and I just used that all over my cheeks and my nose and my forehead and I was like ah ha ha fake you guys I look like sunburned but it, I wasn't but you know when you're light skin you have fair skin when you go when you go out in the sun you actually just get like blush and that was like I think it's really pretty especially in the summer or actually in the winter too when it's cold outside all my my kids has like red cheeks all over and they were like oh they're so pretty they have their natural natural blushes so that's what I am always trying to look like so I'm gonna go back with my bronzer and I'm gonna spice or bronze myself up some more a little bit more and I'm gonna go with this shade this time just to give it a little bit definition all over here on my forehead because I got white forehead it's not receding hairline but it's just it's been like that so and then I'll put it over here on the side So, of course, if you want to look like Mestiza, of course, why don't you complete the look? Add some nose. You know what I'm saying? Contour your nose. So, you want to have that tall nose. I know I have, I don't have big nose, but I think it's kind of like pointed. But um, I always wanted to contour my nose since I was a kid. But for this one, for my nose, I'm going to be using this shadow over here. Here. To create that, you know, the illusion that I have taller nose and I am Mestiza. All right. So to complete the look too, you're not gonna look any Mestiza if you have eyes like mine. You kind of want it to be like, you know, like deep over here, like a deep set. And I'm also just gonna be. I'm just going to be using this shadow over here and I will just lightly put it all over here to the brow bone from the crease to the brow bone of my eyes. Right now I am saving the creation that I did on myself which is my lashes and no I don't want it to be off anytime soon. Alright, so I really wanted to put some more lashes on the bottom of my eyes or my bottom lashes and I'm gonna be using my Lash Princess Mascara So I will just put it lightly on my eyes because I do not want to you know make it harder for myself to remove all this makeup off of my eye so for my lips I'm gonna be using this NYX Butter Lip Balm and this one is gonna give me the shade that you know like a very light subtle kind of tint this one is parfait and with this I also wanted to use this one this one is kind of like more of a red this one is red velvet and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my lips to kind of like put a gradient color to it and then I'm gonna be using this um, essence. This one is Triple XL Shine. This one is just lip gloss, and I'm gonna be putting that on. And now I'm gonna go use my Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter for my highlights. And I'm just gonna put it all over on the top of my cheekbone a little bit over here on the tip here in the middle also on my chin I want to put it actually on the top of my brow bone like that so that's it for this makeup and 
I'm just gonna put my hair down. Invincible. Yeah.